Hi everyone. Today we have a scenario that how to open a custom page as a confirm dialog and take action on confirm OK in model driven app. So in this scenario, we have to first create our environment and uh, our solution. I think you all have your environment and solution and uh, a app also. So I have to choose my environment that is health and solution that is health management. So here uh, we have two aspect that is in the first aspect I have to create a custom page and in the second aspect I have a app in model driven app created model driven app and add an button in the table top of the table. So first I will show you how I create a custom page first go to your solution then choose your environment here you have to click on your uh, apps and then new here you have to go to page okay then here you have to create your uh, custom page like this so i have a custom page i have already created according to my requirement i required a field phone number that uh, uh, already available in my table in the table which column i uh, selected or which columns uh, one or more column i will select all the phone number will be set as whatever i am put here in this field so in the text box you have to take one text box two buttons and uh, create your can uh, sorry custom page according to your requirement and the size so here you have to put the uh, some coding uh, like uh, in this section in the button of cancel you have to put back so that when you click and cancel the uh, dialog box will be closed in the ok button i have a method or uh, javascript code that is you can uh, take this from my uh, blocks so uh, here for all i have a patient id uh, which all the patient id will be uh, come from when i click on the table part so i will uh, show you how i click uh, there first check this uh, code fetch function i will uh, here i will uh, show you the method javascript that is the patient information from uh, the table this record or uh, a uh, phone number will be entered that field so uh, whatever i enter this text uh, box 3 dot value that means whatever i enter in the text box i will send this value to the table or the record and lastly notify me that uh, mobile number updated and uh, notify successfully then back the function okay so this is the um, javascript code i will use in this scenario uh, let's go to the second part uh, here okay it is text box 3 so i will write here first check here the uh, we will always set the text box name as rename and uh, your name will be right in the code okay so next in this scenario i have to create a button in the field where i will want to add the field i can show you that these buttons so chat new delete refresh like this i have to add another button that will be help me for creating a uh, sorry updating a new record or updating a message like this so here you have to back and uh, you have to add the button where you want to first select your table you have to enter your app then you will select your table name where you want to add uh, add a button on the top of the table so i want to add and patient information so click uh, uh, click on three dot of the patient information 
then you have to click on edit command bar okay so you have to choose here from uh, main grid main form subgrid or associated view so we are required here for main grid click on main grid and edit when you click on main grid that a uh, environment will create in this scenario you have to see all these buttons already created that we cannot be edited or uh, all these buttons are not editable so we have to create a new button you have to uh, rename the button as your requirement so update it and click on the icon what you ever want so use icon okay here you have to add as your requirement your icons i don't add any icon now okay then you have to select the action per action here and you have, uh, have the run formula and there is another option run javascript now we are uh, adding some javascript here you can also add the power fx for the run formula in javascript here are some uh, library are already present so you have to add some library first you go to your notepad and write some javascript then we can add this in your uh, in our library or uh, library functions so first you have to create your javascript code in notepad here okay so function function name selected it and primary control so these are pass this parameter to and variable as the page input and here page type is costume name here you have to enter the logical name of your costume page uh, how you can take your costume page logical name first go to your environment and then okay go to pages here you have to check the logical name of your costume page here i have uh, take this uh, logical name of the costume page and add in my javascript code okay where navigate uh, navigation option here i have also uh, take some title edit mobile number and some navigation which will uh, fetch the pop-up box when i click on this button so you have to write this code and uh, save this page as dot js extension for the javascript environment now we have to add our code in our button where uh, i have already taken so click on the button and here add library when you add the library this screen will be appear then you have to click on add new web browser here so when we click on add new browser then uh, this uh, drop down list appear then first you have to choose your uh, file uh, you have written in javascript so click here choose file and uh, choose here your file as you have written then open you have to write the display name as your file you have saved in the javascript code and
okay so let's click uh, let's click on advanced option here you have to choose your language as english then you have to uh, click on save and publish okay so you have to uh, remember one thing that you have uh, add your uh, custom page into your app or you have created the model driven app so that it will be navigate otherwise it will be so some error okay then save and publish okay this uh, button created now we have to check whether the condition is work or not first click and save you have to refresh first so the answer will be so properly here we have to see that our button what we have added that will be so in the top of the table here so we have to first click a uh, column here here we have a uh, phone number is blank i have to add here okay click update mobile number okay this screen will be appear okay you have to enter your phone number or uh, uh, data according to a requirement so i have to enter phone number here phone number like this okay then click on ok ok the pop-up box will be uh, here as successfully uh, inserted data then click on ok ok here the data will not be seen uh, till now we have to refresh once more here in service field we have the phone number that I have uh, written now ok here okay in this process you have to <coughs> complete uh, how to open custom page as a confirm dialog and take the action on confirmation okay okay thank you this video will be help you thank you